my entire catalog was sold to Scooter Braun's Ithaca Holdings in a deal that I'm told was funded by the Soros family, 23 Capital, and the Carlyle Group. There is a negative connotation or a ridiculous accusation or a rude stereotype that can be hurled at a woman for doing anything or not doing anything. Over the course of my life, it has occurred to me that we have a bit of a double standard issue in our society. Taylor Swift waded right into politics at last night's VMAs. So you voting for this video means that you want a world where we're all treated equally under the law. Regardless of who we love, regardless of how we identify. Moments after winning for video of the year, the superstar used her airtime to push for the Equality Act. My entire catalog was sold to Scooter Braun's Ithaca Holdings in a deal that I'm told was funded by the Soros family, 23 Capital, and the Carlyle Group. In music, we're always walking hand in hand with technology. And sometimes that is so awesome. Like how now we're able to just drop a song that we made yesterday. I've spoken out in the past about the future of revenue flow for creators and the songwriters and producers who are being left behind due to these rapid shifts and changes. I still don't think that record contracts or producers agreements have fully caught up. And I hope that in the next decade, we can keep searching for the right solution for producers, songwriters, and creators. Don't you? Lately, there's been a new shift that has affected me personally and that I feel is a potentially harmful force in our industry. And as your resident loud person, I feel the need to bring it up. And that is the unregulated world of private equity coming in and buying up our music as if it is real estate, as, it, as if it's an app or a shoe line. This just happened to me without my approval, consultation, or consent. After I was denied the chance to purchase my music outright, my entire catalog was sold to Scooter Braun's Ithaca Holdings in a deal that I'm told was funded by the Soros family, 23 Capital, and the Carlyle Group. Yet, to this day, None of these investors have ever bothered to contact me or my team directly to perform their due diligence on their investment, on their investment in me, to ask how I might feel about the new owner of my art, the music I wrote, the videos, videos I created, photos of me, my handwriting, my album designs. And of course, Scooter never contacted me or my team to discuss it prior to the sale, or even when it was announced. I'm fairly certain he knew exactly how I would feel about it, though. And let me just say that the definition of the toxic male privilege in our industry is people saying, but he's always been nice to me, 